Hi again, YouTubers. So this is a review of a product um, that was kind of easy to review. It was um, definitely something that when I picked it up, I had heard about it through the Pixie Woo girls, um, Sam and Nick. I'm not sure which one of them. Uh, they did a tutorial about blue eyes and like shadows for that and they use this and it's the Laura Mercier metallic cream eye color in the color burnished copper this is what the packaging looks like I think it was 22 it's a little squeeze tube and it reminds me a lot of Mac paints if you remember those back in the day um, I don't think they make those anymore or if they do it's very very limited in colors um, so this was pretty easy to review because it's a colored base. I'm not looking for it really to do anything short of give me a boost of color. This is what the color looks like. It is a reddish brown color. It's very easy to apply. It's very smooth. Um, it blends out very easily. You can see how it, as soon as I do that, I tend to use a brush when I blend it out. I'm going to put a little bit more on my hand just so you can um, see it as I do some other swatches. Um, I did kind of go in and look at other items I have just to give you guys an idea if there was something else out there that I should have pulled it's a towel out. Uh, my first thought, and I showed this in my haul video, was the MAC paint pot, paint pot, paint, ugh, I want to say paint pots, but it's paints, in structural brown, which is a discontinued or limited edition color. Um, and it's definitely fairly close to it, but um, it's definitely got more of a red base to it than this does. The structural brown is more brown, whereas the La Mercier paint has more of like a reddish undertone to it. But you, if you have one, you definitely don't need the other. Um, the next one I have is a Tarte Emphasize uh, Clay Shadow Stick. And uh, this one is definitely way more bronze. This one does not go with it. Um, so just to give you an idea, I just want to give you some things that you could compare it to that you might already own to see if you actually want that color. Um, so this is the Tarte one, and as you can see, it's definitely more of a bronze brown. Um, it does not have that uh, reddish undertone to it either. And then I have a steel smudge pot in the color bronze that I thought might be similar, but again, it's very similar uh, to the Tarte one where and I had an NYX jumbo stick and french fry, but I can't find it, but I think that is pretty similar to these. Um, so down here is the bronze. So that is much darker and much more brown undertone. Um, so it definitely is a color all on its own. Um, now a little bit about the product. It is very easy to apply. What I did was actually, I took a little bit more than what you saw here, put it on my hand, and then I just took a brush. I took a really old, beat up MAC 217. I don't even think the number is on there anymore. It's worn out so much. But look how beat up this is. Like, it's just one that I didn't take very good care of. That was one of the first ones I got. So I tend to then just, I put it on my hand, I swirl it into the product, gets on the edge, and then I apply it right on my lid. Um, it's a very nice base. It was easy to work with. It blends in very, very easily. Um, you can use it in a very pigmented way or you can kind of shear it out to give you just that all over look. I looked for to see if any of my Maybelline color tattoos matched or looked close to it. They didn't. I also, uh, sorry, I have a baby's giving me hiccups. Um, I also have uh, MAC paints. None of them were close to that. They were either similar kind of browns or they didn't have the shimmer. There was just nothing that matched up. But um, this is a very easy product to use. It is something you can throw on your eyes as only a color and just kind of go. Um, you can simply just put it in the crease and give yourself just a nice little dimension, maybe a little bit of shadow over the um, lid and go and you're good to go. It really does have a nice staying power. I used it both on its own with no shadow over it, kind of setting it. And then I also used it under um, some shadows like bronze and mulch and some colors like that. And it really just gives you that extra umph to the color. It kind of just projects the color a little bit better and you can see the sheen. Um, this definitely has a nice sheen to it. It does not have glitter. It does not have shimmer. It is just truly a sheen to it. And I think why they chose it and why I think it's a really, really great color if you have blue eyes 
is just that red undertone to it. Really that that redness makes blue eyes pop. And it just is such a pretty color. It just works so easily and it just has like, you know what it kind of reminds me of? And I bet you I'm not gonna be able to find this color right off the top of my head. It does kind of, I think this is sable. Let me see, hold on. Yeah, it's sable, look at that. Sable's right there across the top. So, actually I'm glad I could find that because that is a really good reference point. If you have sable by MAC and you love it and it's a great color on your eyes, this is a great option for you because it's a cream based version basically of sable. If you have sable and you use it as it is and you don't feel like you need a cream shadow, then that helps you too. So um, pretty quick and simple, has good staying power. Um, it didn't fade on me out throughout the day. I would say the areas I blended definitely kind of went down a notch, but the product was still there, the color was still there. It just wasn't as vibrant at the end of the day as it was in the start of the day. But overall, really nice product. Um, because it requires such little product, It this tube will last you forever. Well, I guess if you use it every day, it wouldn't, but you know what I mean. Um, it is just a really nice product, easy to use. Um, you can also apply it with your finger. I tried that. I had to use my pinky to get in there because it doesn't, like your other fingers are too big and it brings it up too high on the eyes. Whereas this just kind of gets in there and gets right to the area you want it to be at. So um, overall, great product, great um, line. I'm obsessed with Laura Mercier this year for some reason and it just is a really, really nice line. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you found it helpful and thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.